Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be continuing our work on wheel collider and try to create some drift motion as well as try to fix something that we had in the previous video. So I have done a couple of changes and that is that I have created, I have extended our label and have created a new part of our road or a new part of our highway as well as what I have done is I have changed the value of the wheel colliders back to 35,000 and 4,500 for spring and damper respectively. And I've also changed some some of the values like the force app point distance to zero, the suspension distance to 0 0.1. And now the other thing that I have changed is in the camera control. What I've done is I have changed the method from the late update to fixed update i did this to uh, decrease the sickness of the camera which was happening since the cam since our vehicle was updated in fixed update and uh, the physics that were applied in our vehicles were responsible for moving our vehicle so what uh, so what had happened was during one fixed update there were multiple late updates being called so that's why i have changed this to fixed update so that this function also runs only when the fix update is run. That is that the fix update, once the fix update runs over here, at the same time the camera control also moves or look at the target and move towards the target. So today we are gonna be working on getting drift in our car. But before that what I want to do is I want to make uh, uh, the wheels move according to how they should move like uh, the wheels should move forward when going forward and backward when going backward as well as down left and right and to do that we have a special method provided within the wheel colliders and that that's how we're gonna change it so let's open the drive vehicle okay now we are in the editor what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new method change wheels position and then we're gonna create this generate this method and then i'm gonna create a new method that will change the position of each uh, wheel change each wheel position and what's this gonna take is it's gonna take uh, the wheel collider so we're gonna say check let's take the back left wheel collider as well as back uh, left wheel so what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate this method and then once this is created we're gonna create two new variables that is uh, quaternion rotation as well as vector 3 um, position all right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the wheel collider and then we're gonna assess its get hold position method right and it's gonna out the position and then the rotation so in this function what is happening is that this get world position is taking this rotation and position yes and it's modifying those values and then outputting those values so this rotation and position once it is executed within this function will have a certain values that will be that we will provide in the left wheel dot uh, wheel dot position equals to position likewise the left wheel dot rotation goes to rotation so while so now we have to call this method for each of the wheels so we have to, we have already called for the left back left wheel now we have to call the back uh, right wheel as well as give the back right wheel now let's see what happens in our vehicle so as we can see the wheels are rotating and they are moving as how we want it if we go back the wheel are moving backwards and then if we go forward 
the wheels are moving forward and it's going left it's going right and as we move left or right the wheels are also are moving left and right so that's done now what we will be working on is to have a drift so like when we press left control we're gonna have some sort of drift just while we are cornering from over here so to do that what we need to do is we need to assess uh, the forward friction and the sideways friction so in default value the forward friction is way more compared to the sideways friction that we can see through the values like the assumed dot values so we need to change this but we're not gonna change this over here but we are changing it through script so let's dive into script and write some code so that we can drift uh, the drift the car and then check it out so now what we're gonna write is we're gonna write new code let's write a new function I'll name it drift and I'm gonna generate this method and I'm gonna write a new method that's gonna apply drift or that's gonna change the side reflection of the rear wheels so that we can have drift functions so for this I need to write some uh, function before getting out so uh, sorry I'm gonna declare some variables so that's gonna be um, we can write it as a drift value I'm sorry that's gonna be float drift value and we're gonna give it like 0 0.3 yeah, right so now we're gonna use this drift value in order to create some drift uh, in our wheels by applying this to the to those to the uh, stiffness of the freak of the forward friction as well as sideways friction so to assess those we just cannot assess like uh, forward left wheel dot we cannot assess like forward friction dot if stiffness equals to let's say 0.4 f we just cannot assess this value since uh, the properties of the tire friction is a uh, direction the wheel is pointing on and we cannot modify this because it's not a variables right so what we're gonna do is we we need to use a new variable uh, of wheel friction valve so what we're gonna do is we're gonna declare a new variable also known as wheel friction curve and I'm gonna give this one as uh, forward forward or forward friction as well as I'm gonna create a, another wheel friction curve also known as side side ways friction right and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the forward friction and then assess the stiffness and then i'm gonna um, method dot i'm gonna lerp so so yes we need to assign this value before using it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna assign it to the uh, let's create a What we can do is we can write a wheel collider over here and then name it something like uh, back uh, okay it's just we can write it's just something like wheel collider and then we need to as uh, give it with the back left wheel colliders as well as we have to have another method now for the back right wheel colliders as well so we are passing the back left wheel collider as well as back right wheel colliders and now what we're going to do is we're going to have the wheel colliders dot uh, forward friction similarly what we're going to do is wheel collider dot sideways friction right now we're going to lob these values in between the forward friction dot stiffness to the uh, drift value in some some values like um, 
let's do time dot delta time multiply by five something like this we're gonna use we're gonna change this value to be a variable as well so we're gonna declare a new variable and that's gonna be serialize field load drift smoothness equals to five so we're gonna multiply it with the drift smoothness and then we're gonna uh, change it to um, we're gonna apply the same thing side restriction dot stiffness equals to uh, math uh, math app dot lerp to uh, side restriction dot the stiffness and the drift value and then change it to time dot delta time multiplied by the drift smoothness and now what we need to do is we need to assign this value to the wheel collider so what we're going to do is wheel collider dot uh, forward friction equals to forward friction and wheel collider dot sideways friction goes to the sideways friction and then once this is applied let's see what happens when we okay so this needs to be called only when we apply uh, we press something like dot get key code dot Maybe something like uh, left shift. We do it on left shift, and only so only when we are pressing the left shift, this function needs to be called. else statement let's uh, apply uh, the floating value let's change it to like float value and we're gonna change the drift value to just um, value and we're gonna change the drift value to the value as well so what I'm gonna do here is now I'm gonna change the, the drift value in here and when we are not Pressing this, what I want to do is I want to so when I'm not pressing the left shift, what I want to do is I want to change the value to one. So if you have multiple cars and the configurations are different for each cars, like the stiffness for each car are different, what I can do is we can just. Uh, we, just, we can just take those values in the start method or, and in awake method we can just access those method and then we can change it over here so but since we are using just one car i'm placing an exact value one over here so let's try that out and see what happens moving fine I need to see the drift happening so yes the drift seems to be happening but the values needs to be modified in order to have uh, a better drift so yeah that's it for today we created some drift mechanism we created a car that runs with wheels wheel colliders I might work a bit more on this car and create some effects particle effects like smokes or creating like uh, the tire marks when we are moving forward or we are drifting the car maybe some lights and I might create the tutorial of all those as well so thanks for watching and bye bye